so much for coming tonight. This is an exciting evening. Um, I'm curious how many of you are new to our series. Anybody? Oh, a few. All right. Well, welcome. Um, I'll just tell you a tiny bit about it. It's a very eclectic series. We have all kinds of music all through the uh, academic year. Um, many guest artists, some faculty concerts, and a lot of student ensembles and recitals. And they're all free. Um, we do appreciate donations when possible, especially for things like this where um, we treat the artists as best we can. And um, we do appreciate it when you contribute. But mainly our mission is, it's a gift to the community, and we're really glad to bring um, amazing artists of all different genres. Uh, we have, if, you're, if you are new to us, we have an email list um, out in the uh, lobby there, and it will be at the reception. There's going to be a reception after this concert in Pendleton West 201, which is just straight down this hallway, and we'll have people showing you how to get there, some refreshments, and Ingrid, will be there, the band will be there to sign CDs. So um, you're welcome to um, take part in that as well, a little gathering. So um, we have a lot going on still the rest of this spring, and it's all on the back here, so I'm not gonna tell you all about that, but um, I do welcome you, newcomers and old timers, um, to come back and back as many times as you can. We love you. Um, how many students are here? This has been an amazing week. Um, as you can tell, Ingrid has been here for a few days, and she has been working with our jazz students uh, every evening, as has Steve Tressler. Um, they've been so generous with their time and with their energy. Last night we had a great showcase of some of the work that the students um, did with her, and they played, and she played with them, and every song, it was amazing. So, um, I can tell you firsthand that these are some of the nicest artists you'll ever meet. And besides that, they're genius. So, I'm, I'm not going to say too much about them, except because they'll speak for themselves with their music. Um, I would say, um, buckle your seatbelts, turn off your phones, get off the grid. Um, we are... Uh, videotaping and it's live streaming. Hi there in live stream land there. Um, so you don't need to do all that. You can see it again. Um, just sit back and relax and enjoy this amazing landscape of music of uh, Kenny Wheeler and uh, some of their original work. Um, so thank you for coming. And please welcome Ingrid Jensen and the guys.
Yo, thank you so much. Wow, what a beautiful house. We can see you too. That's kind of nice. How's everybody doing? Thank you so much for coming to hear our music. This is really a, a thrill to get this band together. I have tears on my eyes when I came out because I was laughing so hard backstage. They do that to me. Um, and they also warm my heart with their incredible musicianship. Uh, please give it up. Let's start there on the drums. John Weepon. The wonderful Martin Wind on the bass. Very stunning and very handsome. And without this man on the piano, I'm not sure what I would do. He just warms my heart eternally. This is Gary Versace. And from Seattle, and we're gonna give his beautiful daughter and wife a round of applause for flying in just to be here right now. Where's Katie? Fun. We had a really fun, uh, I've been here doing a residency, if you don't know, um, enjoying the Steinway pianos in every room here at beautiful Wellesley, and not having enough time in the end, so I want to come back. But in the meantime, I had an incredible um, workshop with the, the female students here, I guess they're female, as Wellesley. It's, uh, it's been a thrill, everybody's been great, and we had a lovely concert last night. So here we are with our Kenny Wheeler music this evening, and that was Foxy Trot. It's on the record. I have a, some CDs out there uh, at the re reception afterwards. We will sign for you if you want, and a bunch of other music. So we're gonna continue on with another song that's on, this, on the album. It's called Kind Folk.
played that from the Wellesley combo. Uh, where, there they are. Different version, right? You also nailed it. So the student said, and I heard this through the grapevine, why did she send us such difficult music? Sorry, I have to make an announcement. Anyways, we had a really positive experience working together. And um, so the, the students that, through the grapevine, I heard, why did she send us such difficult music? And the reason I sent it to them is because I knew they could play it. Because they're smart. And they're talented and they're deep. And they have creative skills that are, you know, just waiting to be used. So we, we did that tune and it, it's really freaking hard. I am still, I have to look at it because I'm scared I'm going to get lost. And it's, it's subtly, you know, moving through all these different textures of chords and melody movement and it's just, it's called kind folk, but it's very, not very kind. <laughs> the chords are not very kind. Just when you think you can graze along and just, you know, float away with your ideas, the, another F sharp minor seven flat five slaps you in the face. <laughs> so, you know, that's the terminology of the chord language is, is minimal when you're not a jazz major like we are. We, this is just second nature for us. It's, you know, it's like ordering our flat white at Starbucks. You don't think about it, you just go, I need that and I know what it is and I know the ingredients. But they don't really know it, so they did so amazingly well. They learned the melodies, they hung in, and we modified and made it work, and it was equally as beautiful. So there. Yeah. Now, what about the five, four, six people? Are they here? They're here too. Look at so, so oh yeah, it's the same group. Same group? No. Different group, yeah, different group. But we also did something crazy and free with that, and Steve did this wonderful thing called, uh, what is it, palette? Sound painting. Sound painting. It's, explain a little bit of that while I... Yeah, we, we had an adventure. I was working with the, the string group and just introducing them to sound painting, which is a, it is a sign language for live composition. So essentially, I, as the conductor or sound painter, gave a series of signs and gestures it gave some information, some instructions about what the musicians were to play back, but with each gesture, they had some freedom about what to play. So it's a way of bringing together a group improvisation with a whole bunch of people in a way that it didn't turn into complete chaos right away. And uh, we had a, I'm in a group that does this in Seattle. It's a multidisciplinary art form, so the science means something for dancers and painters and actors. And I played a group called Scrambler in Seattle, and we deconstruct the Nutcracker every year and play a bunch of experimental music. But we had maybe 20 minutes with the strings. I taught them about a dozen signs and crafted a piece along with notation and it was a it was a fun adventure so and you, we got some string folks here blue jay all right we have at least at least one loud string member yeah. so i i appreciate them to be willing to just jump into jump into something new and we crafted a pretty cool cool piece so and the group that played this song we played a completely different version of it we're, we're going to open this piece five four six uh as a as a kind of haunting chorale and it'll make its way into a, to an up-tempo waltz. So there's two different versions. We're, ours is reminiscent of this big band recording, which I brought, uh, what's the word, reduced to the, to the combo version. And with, uh, with the Wells, Wellesley folks last night, the, Wendy Wellesley, did I say that right? Did I get there? All right. Wendy Wellesley was great. I, yeah, yeah, we turned into Wanda Wellesley. Is this how this goes? Okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn. But it was a version of like Dave Holland, where we played this theme and then it turned into a free exploration. It turned off the lights, and could shut off the lights, and we were all listening and interacting, and they became became unleashed last night. So it was super fun. Yeah. So we're gonna feature Gary. This is five four six.
Kenny Wheeler wrote so much music, and this is a profound title that I just think goes really well with these times. It's one of the reasons we chose it. Another reason is it's another one of those hard songs, just really hard chords that makes us better. <laughs> so uh, this is called simply, Where Do We Go From Here? Hmm. Don't watch TV. Don't watch the news. <laughs>
towed to someone somewhere where we don't know where it went. So this song, now who's here from the Everybody Song with My Own group? Are they here? Yeah, there they are. Okay, this, so this one is slightly different than what you did. Okay, slightly, ever so slightly. But you did awesome on it too. So this is one of Kenny's, I think it's like a standard, it's a contemporary standard that he wrote that everyone plays. and. Um, so since it was called Everybody's Song But My Own, I tried to make it slightly different so it was more mine. Mine, mine, mine. And um, fortunately my band hung in while I did many edits to try to make this work. So this is our version of Everybody's Song But My Own.
Well, that was fun. Was it different than yours? <laughs> Could you hear the song in it? <laughs> it's a little, it's like every song, but um, it's like the uh, sort of uh, abbreviated version of Kenny's tune. Thank you all so much. Are you having fun? Yeah. Good. Please give it up once more for John Wicon on the drum. The one and only Gary Versace on the piano. Yeah. Fresh from Seattle, Steve Tressler on the sax. So now the tables have turned. The band has to play something that the Wells and Combos played, which is a ext an extended version of something called Ingalude which is really selfish. It's like using my name and interlude and yep. fusing them together. But I couldn't come up with a title, and I had to come up with a title really quickly so it could go on the record. So Ingalude it is. It's, uh, Paula, Paula supported it. She thought it was cute. <laughs> and while I'm here, I want to make sure I thank everyone that has made this so incredibly wonderful. Miss Isabel Fine, where are you? Is she here or is she running around saving cars? <laughs> I don't know where she is, but give it up for Isabel. Circe and wait, there's one more. Uh, okay, okay. I'm missing Paul Circe and I'm blanking on a name and I'm looking right at Claire. And Claire, those are three beautiful ladies right there. Thank you all. You are amazing. Yeah. And everyone else on the faculty here who is just keeping these young women so full of music and inspiration and bringing crazy people like me in to mess up their worlds. <laughs> it's really been fun. So this is Inga Ludic's band, and we're going to go into a hit of ours. Well, hopefully it'll be a hit tonight. It might totally suck. But we, as we learned in our workshop last night, don't really care if you think it sucks, because we're going to put our heart into it, and that's all we can do. So thank you again, Inga Jensen and Steve Dressler, presenting Kenny Wheeler.
Thank <laughs> you.